What's up everybody? Miss Montana Dillion. This makeup tutorial is coming soon. Um, this lace front wig bun tutorial is also coming soon. Yes, it's one of the lace front wigs um, that I received from RPG Show. Um, this video is about uh, accusing your mate of cheating without any proof. And I noticed that I get a lot of emails from female, mostly females in relationships and they have issues with their mate about oh I think he's da 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 it seems like da 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 and should I leave him should I not my advice and what I would do personally and this is just my opinion um never break your relationship off from assumptions assumptions are the termite of relationships termite 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 because what look like a duck walk like a duck act like a duck may just not be a duck unless you actually have some real hardcore proof that it's a duck so what I mean by that is never ever if if stuff seems like feels like or you just you know have this women's intuition of that your maid is cheating, let it go. Don't, I mean, do not end your relationship off of assumptions. You have to get some hardcore proof. And ladies and gentlemen, let me share something with you. And gentlemen, you may not like this. I'm breaking the code. Girls, I know I'm breaking the code by telling this, but it is what it is. When a man is cheating, and we just so happen, and I don't know how, not going wood, it always happened for me in my life, in my past, when um, if somebody was cheating on me, if some strange kind of way came out and got back to me, and I ended up, you know, getting in contact with a girl, whether she'd be in the same state as me, in a totally different state, or whatever, I've always, i always experienced this in the past, where something had happened. And it was it's very unfortunate. I mean, I was a terrible person. People were in the past, too. So I guess that was karma coming back on me, um, being terrible to me. But what what's done in the dark always seems to come to the light for me in my situations. Always, always, always. I've always been lucky to have some information follow this guy for me. And ladies, once you get a hold of this other female, do not go off on her. Nine times out of ten, she didn't know that you existed. Um, so don't go off on her. Be mad at the dude. Don't be mad at her because she probably didn't know you even existed. He probably lied and said he was single or what message you no more. You just whatever, whatever. Be nice to her. Be very nice and empathetic with her and get all the information you possibly can. Befriend her. Get all the information you possibly can out of her because women like to talk. Women like to talk, honey. So if you telling her, you know, whatever you need to tell her to get her at ease and calm her down or whatever. Um, she'll tell you whatever you need her to tell you. But this is the thing, though. Be very smart about the information that you get from this other woman. Work with her. And I, I'm, I've been very slick to do this. Work with her and get as much proof as you need to get from her. I've, I've gone as far as meeting up with the girl to see actual texts in her phone, not believing what she said, not believing what she forwarded, you know, forwarded me or whatever. I've even gone, gone as far as getting somebody's, um... Getting, getting somebody forwarding me Facebook messages um, from the guy and going as far as doing three ways just to hear, you know, conversations and just get hardcore proof. Going off woman's intuition to leave your marriage and break up your marriage, well, I got this gut feeling and did that just seem, just seem wrong and I just listen my gut. Woman's intuition. Baby, you will not be, I advise you not to Throw away everything you built, your family, your kids, the father being there every day for the kids, your house that you built, everything. You don't want to throw all that away, away off assumptions or woman's intuition. Have you some hardcore proof, okay? Because a lot of times, and sometimes, woman's intuition may be dead wrong. And then when you leave your man or you kick your man out and your family is torn down, everything you built, to, to everything you worked so hard to build is gone and torn apart, you're going to be left more. Now, women, you really... You know, you'll be second guessing yourself. Like, I, I mean, I really didn't see the girl, or I mean, I didn't know for sure, but I mean, woman's intuition, my gut told me, but you done be done already, done tore down your whole family already off of your woman's intuition, and it ain't 100%. You cannot go off woman's intuition. That's just my opinion. You cannot go off woman's intuition. It don't make no sense. That's like, that's like making a, a, a life changing decision off of, I mean, your gut. And not facts. It don't make any sense to me. But like I said, you do get a hold of the woman who you assume he's messing with. Get some hardcore proof before you even approach him. Get you some hardcore. Don't believe that he's safe. He's safe. Because she'll, you know, whatever, whatever. 
to, to keep, you know, to break it all up so she can get in where she fit in. But make sure you get some hardcore proof to the best of your ability to um, do what you have to do and find out what you have to find out before you can move forward on your relationship and what to do. But definitely do not, do not, do not, do not. And it's very aggravating to accuse people of cheating and doing stuff behind your back when you ain't even got no proof in, your, in the first place. Because when Keisha Cole had a song, I should have I cheated on you. Because he accused a girl and cheated and she wasn't even doing nothing. And he left her and she was like, I think that's what the song was talking about. And she was like, I should have cheated. You thought I was cheating anyway, might as well. So I'm quite sure dudes be thinking the same way. Like, And I've heard this before from dudes like, yo. She swear I'm doing this, swear I'm doing that. And she just know I'm messing with some chicken, da 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 da. I didn't even like that. And she be tripping and da 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 da. I might as well go ahead and cheat. I'm getting accused of it. Do not run your man or your woman to go ahead and cheat if they're not cheating. Like I say, don't even bring up cheating unless you have some hardcore proof. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like our justice system and, you know, throw you in jail. And you know you ain't do it. You know they ain't got enough proof. They going off of he say, she say. They ain't even got no video surveillance. Your blood wasn't on the, on the crime scene, but yet yeah, yeah, they throwing you in jail because of he say, she say, whatever. Do not accuse your mate of cheating. You don't have any hardcore proof. Keep it to yourself. Don't bring it in their face. Because it's aggravating when you know you ain't doing nothing wrong. And they're accusing you. I mean, that's going to put somebody away. And possibly put somebody to cheat. So what would you be, you know, trying to argue about? Pick your battles. Pick your arguments. Okay. And unless you, like I said, I've, I've in the past and I've had voicemail recordings because I had this voicemail password. I had pass, uh, password everything, so I was hacking into everything. But I had this voicemail and I was recording from a little, you know, a little Christian Bell recorder on the phone. I'm recording this and I built up my case, baby. And let's just say it was, it was, it was ugly. When I, when I really came to the table with my proof, like, okay. What's up with Bonquisha? Who? What? Oh, here we go. Plates, pictures. I had got in my friend car and I followed y'all and said that I was a stalker, honey. I, whatever I want to find out, I can find out. If you go looking, hopefully you don't find anything. That means you have one wonderful mate. But if you find something out, baby, there you go. You can leave. Now you know what you need to know. You can go. But I, if I feel like, if I feel like, it's something funny. I won't be like, oh, you're doing something, you're doing something. That's what I'm going to take it upon myself to go looking and make sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't go looking just because. I don't go looking when everything is okay in my relationship. If everything okay in my relationship, I'm good. I ain't got a problem. I didn't have a problem. I'm not going to look or nothing like that. I'm not going to do it. But if something seems wrong, I'm going to go looking. And it has happened before. Before me and my husband got married, there were situations where I would go look and if the sun ain't seem right, something just felt wrong or whatever, and I would go look and I would find nothing. So after a while, I just stopped looking. After we got married, there's no reason to look. I clean, clean slate of trust. I absolutely trust him until he gives me a reason not to. At this point, everything is absolutely wonderful. I don't need to go looking for anything. I don't need to go accusing. I don't have any proof. Leave it be. I don't have a reason to look. So I'm not going to look. I don't have a reason to accuse, accuse, accuse. And I don't have anything, any hardcore proof to be like, you did it. This is what you've done. I'm going to show you what you did. This is my proof. Do not ruin your relationship off of assumptions. If you disagree with, oh, I have to go my my woman's intuition and I just know and I just know. If you're going to throw your whole relationship away off a woman's intuition, fine. Do what you want to do in your life. Click off this video. This video is not for you. But do not accuse somebody of cheating without proof. Do not do that. If our justice system thought like that, so many people wouldn't be in jail. I'm just saying. It's your girl, Miss Montana. Have an absolutely phenomenal day.